with uh, Pan Digital here at IFA 2010, and you're showing this is a color e reader. Yes, it is. It's a Pan Digital Novel Color e reader, 7 inch multimedia. And what it is, it's focusing on the e reader product. So, up here you have your bookstore, and you get to kind of select your bestsellers, your new releases, all different types of books. And down here, you have the library. These are all your purchase books, so you can simply tap on a book, a load of quick seconds. So here's the book, and to turn pages, you simply swipe your finger across. Nice. Swipe your finger across to keep reading. If the text is too big, you can actually change the font size to a smaller size, make it easier for you. And there you so go. This is a, a seven-inch, uh, four by three resistive screen. Yes, it is. It's a pan digital novel, multimedia e-reader, seven-inch, four by three, eight hundred by six hundred resolution. How long does the battery last? The battery is rated at nine hours for reading, and of course, it's going to drain a little bit more if you're doing web surfing or other functions. But for reading, we say about nine hours. So you can do web surfing and other functions. Absolutely, okay. it's mainly an e-reader, but you can do photos. You can do music. You could do videos and also surf the web via Wi-Fi. All right, so you would go back to what is it, my library, or what do you, how do you get out? Yeah, absolutely. So that's your library of books. And you, do you have some video to check to test? Yeah. Let's see. So what kind of uh, video does it support? This is a page, uh, supports MPEG-4. Does it go on YouTube and stuff like that, or? You can go on YouTube, but at this point, it does not support Flash. All right. Oh, there you go. Right, so, this is based on Android? It's using the Android 2.0 platform and an ARM 11 processor around 800 megahertz. Nice. How do you exit the video? Uh, there you go. There you go. Is there, are there other but hardware buttons around it? Yeah, absolutely. So on the side you have a volume rocker for up yep. and down. At the top you have an SD MMC card for up to 32 gigabytes. A mini USB port to plug into the PC. And a hard power. Nice. On the bottom you have the headphone jack. And what is this over here? That is the docking station charger to power it up. So you have two docking station chargers under it and, and on the side? On the bottom is just purely for headphones. Okay. And then to charge it, you simply put in the cradle on the side and it'll charge. And this is the cradle, right? That is the cradle. So you just put it like this and it charges. In here, and voila, there you go. Does uh, the cradle do anything else than charging? It's just charger. Just a charger. Okay. All right. And uh, so how much does it cost in the US? Can you buy it now? It is available now. It was just released about two months ago. And it is MSRP around $179. Uh, US. 179 and you get access to the Barnes & Noble bookstore. Absolutely. That Barnes & Noble is our preferred content provider, which provides over 100 mil, 100, uh, excuse me, 1 million. 1 million books? 1 million books. Well, wow, that's e a lot. Yeah, absolutely. That, they're the largest content provider and we have partnered with them to give you the best. They're bigger than Amazon. Huh? Are Roughly about Amazon? the same. Roughly about the same. Yep. So they have uh, all the popular books and all that, but that's that deal is only for the U.S., I guess. You cannot really get Barnes & Noble in Europe, right? Correct. At this point, Barnes & Noble is only allowed to sell to the U.S. So we're here at IFA trying to get distribution set up and also talking to all the content partners as well. So is that hard to get distributors uh, like signed up? Not when we show them the, the products that we have. We have a great selection in the lineup, and they're very interested. So we hope to see some of this stuff in Q4. Q4 already in Europe? Already in Europe. That's what we're hoping for. Zero price? Uh, price hasn't been determined at this point, but you could probably say roughly about the same. So, 10 hours of re reading battery life, right? Yeah, 9 to 10 hours. 9 to 10 hours. And uh, so basically what you have designed is a, as an app on top of Android. This is your app. Correct. This, it is our e-reader. So it's your, what's it called, proprietary app, kind of. Yes, you could say that. So you have to swipe the screen to turn pages, right? No hardware buttons. No hardware buttons. All touch. Nice, and it's just up here to get back to the menu? Yeah, you just hop the touch. And then back. And this is, uh, when I'm back in the library, this is still your app, your U UI. Yeah, that is our UI. So you can organize the top of library Android. bookshelf by can date. Can you also exit the whole thing and get, get out of uh, into normal Android, or you have to get this UI? 
you get this UI. Okay. Photo settings, what is the same settings? Is there anything that looks like other Androids? You can calibrate, you can calibrate network. network, yeah. So you add your Wi Fi settings. networks in here? Yes, absolutely, and it'll detect them automatically and select your Wi Fi network that you want to connect to. Oh, is that okay? Uh, what is that? Do you update the software sometimes? Yes, we do. Uh, we have various firmwares up on pandigital.net. Uh, to help the enhance the user experience. So since it got released, how many times did you update software? I think about twice now. Twice? Yes. So you fixed some bugs or you added some things? Uh, both. There were some yeah. bugs that we fixed and also added some new features to use. Alright. Are you going to add like more bookstores? Huh? Uh, do not know at this time. Alright. But Barnes & Noble is good, uh, like, uh, it's a good start. Absolutely. All right. They're a great content partner for us. So this is an interesting alternative to the E. Yes, it is. Yeah, e ink is still uh, an expensive panel, although it is a higher battery life and better contrast. It is an expensive panel at this point. This is why we chose to go with a color TFT panel to get hit a certain price point. So you can go walk into any Barnes and Noble store. You have this in stuck. Uh, it's not available at Barnes and Noble. No, it's available at places like Bed Bath and Beyond, Kohl's, Macy's, a lot of home decor and uh, mass purchase like that. Not at CVS Pharmacy. Not at CVS Pharmacy. No, no, not yet. <laughs> Huh? Walmart, we're talking to Walmart as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. So thanks. Thank you so much.